Listen, ladies and gentlemen, let me get into the point in explaining you the most important topic today that is converse, inverse and contrapositive from mathematical logics. So I hope you will stick along my journey and learn through this content. Hopefully this video will be very simpler and easier. And without further delay, let's get started with today's topic that is converse. See, the first thing is for the statement P implies Q. So P implication Q already have said you in my previous video. The converse will be Q implies P. The statement will be vice versa. Q implies P. And what will be the inverse of the statement? The inverse of the statement is negation p implies negation q so negation p implies negation q the converse will be q implies p and what will be the contrapositive so the contrapositive of the statement is nothing but negation q implies negation p and how to remember this and let me tell you so for implication that is p implies q so c is converse and c is again contrapositive so this is for converse c here and for contrapositive, see, please remember, for converse and contrapositive, this will be Q implies P. And here also Q implies P, whereas there will be negation for both Q and P. So for C, both, for C, both Cs, remember that it will be Q implies P. Here also Q implies P and there will be negation here. And the next one is inverse. So inverse will be as it is. P implies Q. So inverse will be as it is. But negation will be in front. That is negation P implies negation Q. This is how you have to remember for converse and contrapositive. So Q implies P and Q implies P. And for contrapositive there will be negation. Negation here. Negation Q implies negation P. For inverse the statement will be as it is. P implies Q and there will be negation. See now here. This is the way you have to remember for the statement P implies Q. What will be the converse? Converse will be obviously Q implies P. And what will be the contrapositive? Same negation Q implies negation P. And see for the inverse, it is straight away we have to write negation for both P and Q. Negation P implies negation Q. So these are the three formulae which you have to remember for any statement. If it is asked to write the converse of the statement, so we can transform this as Q implies P. For inverse, negation P implies negation Q. And for contrapositive, that is negation Q implies negation P. So instead of mugging up like this so please remember for converse and contrapositive it will be q implies p for contrapositive it will be negation q implies negation p and for inverse straight away negation for both one that is negation p implies negation q hope you understand this trick see here so it is also very simple if you follow this one so for p implies q statement for converse and contrapositive observe that one that is q implies p here also q implies p but for positive, contrapositive, negation Q implies negation P. Whereas for the inverse, so P implies Q, straight away P implies Q and negation. Negation P implies negation Q. So this is the way you have to remember. So wherever you go, the question will be write the converse, inverse and contrapositive for the following statements. So if you know the formulae, it will be very easy for you to attempt the question. See here, the example here is what are the inverse what are the inverse, converse and contrapositive of the implication? See, the question here is, if today is a holiday, then I will go for a movie. So, if there is if then statement, it is very clear that if and then statement. So, it will be P implies Q. Clear? Implication statement. If P, then Q. So, if today is a holiday, then I will go for a movie. So, what is P here? P is nothing but today is a holiday. And what is Q? I'll go for a movie. So these are the two statements. P is the statement that today is a holiday. Q is a statement that I'll go for a movie. And what will be the converse? So here if it is P implies Q. So what is the formula for converse? Converse is nothing but Q implies P. See here. The converse statement is Q implies P. And again we have to start with if and we have to end with then. So for implies, so if, go with the statement Q, that is if I will go for a movie, then 
today is a holiday clear so this is the converse statement it is very easy to attempt if p and q are taken from this statement if and then if you underline this will be p and this will be q so after uh, placing writing p and q so we have to write the converse converse will be q implies p and first we have to write this sentence and later this sentence and next one inverse so as i said you the inverse is same negation p implies negation q negation means a negative statement of p and negation q is nothing but the negative statement of q see here again we have to start with if and next one is then so what is the negative statement of p so p is today is a holiday we need a negative statement if today is not a holiday then negation q so we have to write the negative statement of q so i will not go for a movie so i will not go for a movie so clear so you can write the converse inverse contrapositive for any statement if you learn this video and next one is contrapositive as you know that contrapositive c starting with c so we have to write negation q implies negation p for contrapositive and converse it is q implies p here also q implies p for contrapositive remember that will be negation q implies negation p so the negative statement of q should run first and next one the next negative statement of p so it is implies statement so we have to start with if and next one with then so in between so we have to write the negative statement of q so what is q here i'll go for a movie so we need a negative statement if i don't if i do not go for a movie then negative statement of p today is not a holiday see here if i do not go for a movie then today is not a holiday hope you all guys understand so this is easy way to learn converse inverse and contrapositive so for the statement p implies q converse will be come on tell what will be the converse q implies p for contrapositive it is negation q implies negation p whereas for the inverse same negation p implies negation q and this is the formula which you have to remember so that you can attempt the question related to converse inverse and contrapositive in very easy way and this is the example so they will be giving so many uh, statements here so we have to pull out p and then then this will be p statement and this will be q statement and after getting p implies q p and q statements the converse will be q implies p inverse will be negation p implies negation q and contrapositive will be negation q implies negation p so this is how you have to follow and hope you all guys understand if you really understand please pass it on to your friends learn more and grow more thank you so much